Hi everyone, Rose here with The Cackling Moon. This is going to be a client's mountain reading. Um, the mountain reading, it's a nine card spread. Um, and we're basically, the mountain is designed to look at a topic that is that you are struggling with and see the process of building up to a goal. Um, and so for my client, um, they have two questions in mind that they are struggling with. There was the option of not having much guidance with what they want to do with their path. And it sounds like more of a, um, a like a life path or a um, life's purpose. They're kind of having a crisis with that. Um, and the second question revolved around um, the fact that they started to reconnect with an ex and they wanted to kind of see where things were going with this with this person um, and if you know if it was something that was worth their while so um, for the reading I think I'm gonna pull from I was gonna use the vertigo tarot because I really like that one for like the more um, challenging aspects of ourselves I think that this deck is just amazing for that so I'm gonna have that one on the table but I also feel like um, pulling from the, uh, the Psychic Tarot for the Heart, which is one of my go-to decks for love readings. And since we're going to be looking at the X, um, I feel like this would be a really good deck for that. So I'm going to have that also on the table. And then um, because I love to mix an oracle in there, um, I'm going to be working with the Universal Mind Oracle and see what comes through for you with that. So... Let's see. Just make sure I don't have the title cards in here because sometimes they get mixed in with the deck. <laughs> so I don't want to pull any of those. Um, okay, so let's focus first on the first question because I feel like more of your energy was going towards your ex in that situation. Um, so let's just kind of focus on the um, the career path, like you mentioned, um, beauty school and you weren't sure if this was, you know, the right fit for you and whatnot. So let's just real quick tap into that one. Um, because I know we're going to be spending much more time with the other question because I feel like that's the main one you wanted to focus with. At least that's what my vibes were telling me. Um, so let's focus on the life path, your purpose, um, and the path that you're currently on with the beauty school and whatnot. And let's just see your struggles, your challenges, your blocks. Woo, this one wants to come out, obviously. Um, you know, and the possibilities of what comes out on top. So <clears throat> we'll have that as the base. Um, that oracle message at the base and then we'll have one at the very top so let's pull the top one too it's supposed to kind of look like a mountain but um <laughs> my table space is so small and the cards actually are really large so that doesn't quite help it So one side of the mountain is going to symbolize um, the challenges, the blocks that you're facing with this path. And then the other side of the mountain is going to kind of give you the insight that you need to succeed or if this is even something worth trying to succeed for. Because sometimes um, you feel blocks with a path because it's not the right it's not the right path for you. So we'll see what the cards say um, and we'll go from there. All right. So I want to make sure they're not upside down. <laughs> so that's the process, the blocks. And then this is the advice or the, um, you know, how to obtain what you want. And then um, we'll go from there. Okay. So hopefully you could see the table okay. You can, yeah, you can see it pretty good. Okay, so the base of your mountain, the base of this this topic that we're talking about, we have life-giving nutrition, and it's a bunch of mushrooms. You could see 
Um, life-giving nutrition. Now, I feel for the base of this question, your life path, you really aren't feeding enough into it. Um, I see like the life-giving nutrition to symbolize the need for you to really put more love and, and attention into this particular path. Your, it's kind of like I feel the beauty school is an idea of something that you want to manifest more of. It's kind of like the beginning process, you know, um, but there's so much more that you could do with your certificate once you receive it. Um, you know, you can become your own, obviously you're an independent contractor working for yourself um, and you can do a lot of things with makeup. It's not just um, beauty makeup. You could do monster makeup for, um, you know, motion pictures and that kind of thing. You could do um, the makeup for, uh, what do they call it, prior to um, someone's funeral when you do the makeup on the deceased, you know. There's a lot of other outlets for makeup artists and it's not, doesn't have to just be um, doing makeup for brides or doing makeup for prom or whatever. It, there's a lot of other outlets that you could take this. So I feel like you have to put a little bit more time, a little bit more attention um, into the details because there is a lot you could do with beauty school. Um, but I feel like you're not seeing the full picture of it. And so I feel like the, the nutrients, giving it the nutrients is like giving you all these little ideas and, and putting, you know, putting a lot into your little recipe that you're making and to come up with this final end result of some, you know, delicious creation. So I feel like you got to put a little bit more thought into your path. Um, and it's not, it shouldn't be looked at as like a last resort kind of a thing. It should really be a blend of something that interests you, but also a passion. So if you are passionate about makeup, but you don't really want to take it a certain route, there are other avenues that you could do with this. So you got to kind of add your little creative twist to that <laughs> and see what happens. Um, so the process of your challenges and your blocks that we're going to see here with this path, and we have the five of cups, we have the four of pentacles, and we have the knight of cups. Very interesting. So as far as the matters of the heart go, your heart is somewhat invested with the knight of cups. Um, it's there, but I also feel like this is a passion that you once had, um, but it's starting to dwindle, okay? And I also feel like that has to go with the fact that maybe your idea of becoming a makeup artist um, was something that you thought of as, you know, this glamorous thing and perhaps the, the amount of school that you've been putting into it at the time it's kind of not turning into that, you know, but I feel like you also have to be reminded of the different avenues that you could take this, this path with. So the other thing I'm seeing as a difficulty or an obstacle, um, I feel is you're worried about the money. I feel like you're worried that you're not going to make enough money to survive and you're not going to make enough to make ends meet, that kind of thing. Um, because four of pentacles to come up as a, a block or a challenge tells me, um, that you're either you've been saving or you're worried about not having much of a savings when you are starting to work because becoming an independent contractor, you are really promoting yourself. It's, it's kind of like, um, the only way that you're going to get your, the word out there is by you physically putting a lot of time and energy into it, which is again, the nutrients. You have to add all of that in there. This is not a path. Um, this is not a career path that is going to just bloom out of the blue. You have to really put in the footwork. And I feel that the Four of Pentacles is kind of showing that you do have the worries that um, the money issues will be a problem. So that is something there to think about as well. Um, if you're looking for a position, you know, a job or a career where you won't have to worry about the money and whatnot. The route of an independent contractor is not quite the one you want to embark on right away um, because you have to put your passion and you have to put your twist of general uh, of originality into it to really grab attention of people. And I know that for um, for. Uh, I do that myself. I mean, with Cackling Moon, not everyone is going to know who or what Cackling Moon is. And in order for me to put myself out there, I am on social media on a daily basis. Um, 
and it's been four years and growing, you know, and it's a subtle, steady grow unless you are just you know, very fortunate enough to have, you know, a large social um, audience or you have a lot of friends of friends and, and people who are putting your name out there. But the growth and the process takes time and it will be the same for makeup artists, especially if you're going the route of working on your own, unless you're going to be combined with a bigger name or an, um, a company, then that's probably a, an easier way to grow. But if you are wanting to do it from a personal independent aspect, it is take, it does take a lot of time, energy, and also investing some of your own money into um, promotions and whatnot. Sometimes we have to put money into things to get money back. Um, so that's another thing I see there with the four of pentacles. And then the first card that I pulled was the five of cups. And the five of cups is kind of like um, the card of like, it's almost like you've you've given up because I feel like with all the cups, they're all toppled over, but you still have that one standing. It's almost like you've given almost complete giving it up. Like you're like, you know what? I don't think this is the right path for me. I don't think I want to do this anymore, but you're still holding on. There's like that one thread that's holding you together with this, with this path. So I personally feel like don't, don't completely shut it out until you know for sure that this is not for you. I feel like there's that little piece of you that still wants to hold hope. So let's see what the process would be to do that or if the cards are even going to reveal like this is the path for you. So we have the King of Pentacles, the Fool, and Judgment. Wow, lovely. So the cards are definitely showing the process of this being um, definitely keep going. The King of Pentacles is showing, you know, being your own boss, obviously. King of Pentacles energy is your own boss. You are an entrepreneur, that kind of thing. The Fool is really telling you that this process, this path, if you want to be successful with it, you're going to have to be willing to take a risk and you're going to have to go into it blind. Um, you're not going to have someone telling you where to go, how to do this, the process. You just got to go for it completely blind and do it. Um, and a lot of times, independent contractors, when you are starting your own little business and whatnot, um, you are going into it blind. You know, you may have some inspirations from other people who are kind of already doing it. But technically, it's it's like a trial and error process. And the fool is not afraid of doing that. Um, and then we have the judgment card. So I do feel like there will be some difficulties when you first start out. I feel like the judgment card is going to, it's kind of showing like what goes around is going to start coming around for you. Um, but I also feel like the fact that the, the hands are lifting up this child is kind of saying you're going to be helped. Like there's going to be a, a time in this process where even though you're taking some major risks and whatnot, you're going to have some help. There's either going to be people like your peers that you were in with this class, this beauty school, or perhaps you're going to, you know, meet a client who can kind of help you boost boost your um, promotions and whatnot you give put your name out there um, but you're gonna you're there's there's gonna be some help there for you but the most most of the process is going to require you to be very risk taker um, full energy is very risk taker free spirit go with the flow they're not worried about the details they just jump and they don't care where they're gonna land so <laughs> it's gonna require that kind of a mindset the overall outcome of this process, we have vulnerable. And I feel like that is so true. The vulnerable card as the overall um, outcome is showing that you are going to be stripped completely naked in this path. Um, and, as, and any independent contractor will tell you it's the same thing. Like it's scary. You don't have that support of a major company name or you are not one along with, you know, a group of 20 other employees. It's just solely you. And it is a very vulnerable um, place to be. So I can see that. But I also feel like with the rabbit, the fact that we have a rabbit in the card, I don't know if you could see it. The rabbit, rabbits are symbol, a symbol, blah, 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 blah. they are good symbols of fertility. And I take this, the fertility is creating and multiplying. So I feel like the process for you with the end out end result is it will be fruitful, but it is going to take its time and it will be a bit challenging. So that is for the, um, your question regarding the path. 
Now let's dive into your relationship. This person that you have started to um, reconnect with. So this is an ex-boyfriend. Um, oh, third eye chakra and flow came out. You know what? I'm going to put these back and I'm going to just shuffle because I haven't even pulled my, um, my main card. So we're going to see the process with this person going to be the same layout as the um, the one we just did okay and let's also use the universal mind because I love this one so we want to see the foundation and we want to see the outcome of this topic okay and these cards are going to represent the blocks, the challenges, and this is the process of moving up if the cards say it is meant to, okay? So, and I know I said it's nine cards for the mountain, but because you asked two questions and I'm, I'm doing the two questions for you, I'm not gonna do nine for each one. So that's just so you know. <laughs> okay, so the, um, the foundation of the question with your ex, we have acceptance. Oh, wow, that's powerful. So to receive acceptance, obviously, acceptance is coming in different forms. One, you had to accept the fact that this person wanted to come back into your life. So it's almost like you had to give them the approval that, yes, you may proceed, you may enter, you may come into my, you know, my bubble, my my sacred space, my home, my heart. It's almost like you are giving this person permission to enter your heart again. So acceptance has to be on both ends you need to and it's most important for you you need to be very um very, very sure that you are accepting the fact that you are allowing this person to re-enter your heart even though they had made an exit from before so what if, if you are accepting that and you are giving yourself the approval that it is okay that this is taking place and this is the process of you know moving forward so i feel like for this to come up as the foundation it's definitely showing that without the acceptance without that approval Everything else is not going to work out as you had wanted it to or you were hoping. Um, so if you have not given that approval, for, especially for yourself, if you have not told yourself, I am okay with this person coming into my heart again, this is the first thing you need to do. This is your foundation for this whole thing. Um, so then let's see what the process is, the challenges and the um, blocks. So we have just breathe, well-deserved reward, and teach. I love it. So what I'm seeing as a challenge or a block with this process, the just breathe especially, this is for you. I feel like this is that time of contemplation where you're, you're being really guided to not rush into things right off the bat. Um, I also feel like this is like you facing your higher self really trusting and becoming one with your intuition and trusting those red flags if you start to feel them um and it's it's almost like when you are in a fresh new relationship with someone for the first time red flags are very hard to see because we always want to see the good in people and we always want to think that well it's a brand new relationship this person can't do me wrong <laughs> Now, when it is the second time around and when you are dating someone who you've already been with, you already know their personality and whatnot, the red flags are much easier to see. So I'm seeing the Just Breathe card as being, it's showing a challenge, it's showing that you may see red flags, um, don't dismiss them. They are going to be very important telling signs of if this person is genuinely, you know, being truthful or if this person is worth your time so I feel like um, <clears throat> don't allow yourself to to neglect any of these red flags that you may be seeing and I'm not, I'm not saying that you're seeing them already but I'm just saying if you do trust your intuition and trust yourself 
that what you are experiencing, feeling, seeing, or you know, you may be assuming is on is on is on point. Okay. Well deserved reward. I love it because it's at the core of the of the challenges and blocks. I feel like sometimes, and I'm not saying this is for everybody, because sometimes when we break up with someone, it is meant to be that way. But I also feel like when we break up and then we come together to try again, sometimes the second time around is better. So I feel like with this card, well-deserved rewards, it's almost like seeing the positives and the reasons why you guys broke up in the first place and using that as a really solid foundation to help you build from it a bit, a better and stronger connection with each other. So don't discount why you guys broke up in the first place. Use that as like the fertilizing soil to grow to plant your seeds for something new. So you use it to learn from. And I feel like because it's a well-deserved reward, it's almost like this second time around may be what you need. Um, but as a block, it might be one of you is a little bit hesitant to see it that way. So if it's you that's starting to, you know, worry like oh my gosh we're we're our, we're exes like we've already done this it, what if it doesn't work out you know i feel like one of you and it, if it may more so be you than him because i feel like the 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 ex in this situation is actually the one who's more wanting to give this a shot um you are seeing a block in that seeing a block and seeing that the second time around may be better and worth it so just know um changing your views um and accepting what happened beforehand and taking it to the, to the next level. Um, but also trusting in yourself. Um, but I feel like more so this is a good time. It's going to be a good second time around. We also have teach. And the teach card coming up is kind of saying, you know, learning your guys' lessons. Um, teaching one another, you know, the things that, that went wrong in the relationship before the first time around. You're learning from your mistakes. You guys are both in that teaching, learning process together. So I actually see this as a positive for you guys. I see this as, um, like I said, the second time around might be better. And I feel like in this instance for you, that may be the case. Okay, so let's see the process. Is this something that is worth working towards? We have change your focus, love, and seek the truth. I love that. So right off the bat, looking at the cards, do I feel like this is a relationship that is worth giving it a second chance? Yes. Um, do I feel like you're going to have to turn, kind of like switch around your thinking and the way that you observe this person? Yes. Changing your focus is 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 definitely saying that. Um, you're being called almost to kind of do away with all of your reservations that you have about this person. You know, you guys have gone through what you went through in the past. It's time to learn from it. Use it as, like I said, the fertilizing soil to plant your new seeds to grow. But once you've done that, you need to let it go. And I, that is going to be one of the biggest things for you too. Um, in building a strong relationship together this second time around is forgiveness and you guys are going to have to learn to put those things away put those feelings away don't bring up old um, arguments don't bring up old topics you know once you guys have dealt with it and whatnot you move on from it so I feel like changing your focus is, is all about that the next process, which is at the core, we have love. So I do feel like this is reigniting the, the flame. You are you were both doing that. The connection is there. You both are very much attractive to one another. You guys have a connection. Um, it almost feels like the love is kind of picking up where it left off previously. So don't be afraid of those kind of things. You know, go with the flow with that. But at the same time, keep in mind... Um, this time around, if you start noticing the same red flags happening that you didn't notice the first time around, um, it doesn't mean that your relationship is doomed. It just says, pay attention to those things and, you know, kind of tap into it. If you're starting to see this person, for example, seeing this person falling into old habits that, you know, caused you guys to have a, con you know, constant um, disconnections beforehand, bring those things up so that you two can work through it right now. Um, 
And then as you guys do that, if you see that this person is very receptive to changing and the changing their ways as well as you, then you kind of know you're growing together. But if this person doesn't want to do any of that or does is falling back into the same old path, um, that's kind of a good good way for you to see like, okay, this person isn't really as true as what I feel that they were. Um, but that's only for you personally to gauge that. And then finally, we have seek the truth. And um, seeking the truth really makes me feel that the previous relationship with this person, um, a lot of it revolved around inability to express oneself. So I feel like either this person lied to you or this person wasn't, you know, they weren't always open. They're, I feel like the communication, you guys really spilling secrets, started to dwindle away towards the end. So I feel like um, the truth or telling the truth or being 100% transparent with one another was a big, that was like a big um, thing for you guys the first time around. So I feel that with the Seek the Truth card coming up for the second time around, you guys are really going to have to work hard to be transparent with one another, be open and always communicating. That's, that is what's going to make you strong. And then finally, the outcome of this whole process and we have spirit. So I love that. I feel like spirit resembles um, our higher selves. I feel like spirit resembles universe and just kind of the fact that of having faith. Um, so that's how I'm going to kind of read that is spirit is saying having faith in the fact that, you know, ultimately you don't know how this is going to turn out, but having faith that maybe this second time around is what you guys needed to resolve issues and to move forward and to fall in love again and all of that. Um, and so you just, you never know, you know, some people, some people's relationships, it's like, okay, well, I could never date my ex. And, you know, you probably have friends who are telling you that kind of thing, but it doesn't matter to you. It shouldn't matter to you if they wouldn't do it doesn't mean that you can't so keep that in mind um but i feel like spirit is kind of revealing having faith in this process you know going with the flow seeing how it get how it is and sometimes the second time around is worth it and it's better so i wish you all of the best with this process i hope that everything does turn out in your favor um, and I hope that the two of you are able to connect and grow and resolve, you know, issues and forgive and move forward. So without further ado, this concludes your um, mountain reading. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. And if anyone is still watching, you can book a reading with me by clicking the link that's in the in the description box. And um I would love to read for you guys, so let me know. And if you have any questions, um, you can always send me an email. Um, I'll also place that below, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.